One of the biggest symptoms of not processing stress correctly is not sleeping well. And when we don't sleep well, then we don't produce the hormones to allow us to process stress more effectively. So this is kind of a downward spiral for not getting a good eight hours or at least seven hours of sleep at night. Ideally, uninterrupted sleep makes a big difference in how you're gonna age, how your brain's gonna function, how your relationship's gonna be, how your connection to the world is gonna be. So sleep is really important. And my belief is that if you're managing stress effectively, if you're getting easy to digest proteins, uh, if you're doing a little exercise every day just to go for a walk or something, particularly exercise in the morning is ideal, uh, then you're going to sleep well. But if you're not sleeping well, you've got to get back into that cycle of sleeping well. And that's when I recommend people to take this supplement. This is called Tranquil Sleep. It's produced by Natural Factors. There's a lot of people that have copied it. You'll see the formula, it's out there quite a bit, so it's not the only company that does it. I really like natural factors because they test everything and they make sure all of these raw ingredients, these extracts, are pure. And they, I've seen their laboratories, it's math, massive, and they're high quality, and they're effective, and they work. This is their biggest selling product, Tranquil Sleep. Why? Because it works. Now you can, it's very inexpensive, too, relative to other sleeping products. Uh, they've made this one as a chewable. You could also get it as a capsule, but they make it as a chewable so it's very convenient. Actually, one of the best tasting chewables around. The ingredients that allow you to fall asleep better and sustain sleep are L-theanine, which is an, uh, the, it's an extract of a root, but it's also the same ingredient that is an extract of green tea. It's the calming aspect of green tea. Some green teas in, from Asia are very, very expensive, and the reason for that is they're totally organic. They're picked at a certain time in a little tiny sprout and in a very pure way, and that allows the content of L-theanine to be higher. So then you drink the tea and you do a little ceremony with it. Tea ceremony actually produces optimal brain function and a calming that protects us from anxiety. So uh, what you get in here is 200 milligrams of L-theanine. Now some companies will just charge the same amount as what this costs just to get 200 milligrams of L-theanine, which you can buy separately for anxiety. It take, it's a calming thing, calming. Um, it's similar to GABA, but L-theanine uh, doesn't make, so for some people just taking GABA it make, can make you tired. Uh, well, L-theanine doesn't, and it's proven to increase GABA sensitivity, increase serotonin levels, increase dopamine. So a really good brain balancer is L-theanine. So this is going to calm you before going to bed. Then it also has something called 5-HTP. 5-HTP is an extract of a graphonia seed from a plant that grows in Africa. And it was used in this village. People sleep well, they're happy people, and they look, what is it? They've got this uh, graphonia plant, and the seed particularly is rich in an in uh, ingredient called 5-HTP, which is what tryptophan goes into the brain, it then converts into 5-HTP, and then it converts into serotonin, which calms us. And serotonin, in the absence of light, turns into melatonin, which puts us to sleep. Melatonin uh, is uh, the brain chemical that just makes you fall asleep, just like that. So what we want to do is keep... Uh, the brain plenty of serotonin so it can be calm but also so it has the actual ingredient to convert into melatonin to put you to sleep and keep you asleep and that is 5-HTP. So you'll see these ingredients or there'll be uh, there's whole books written just on 5-HTP because it is way better than any antidepressant although as you probably know from looking at my other videos that the ideal ingredient uh, that fights uh, depression makes us happy basically is the mineral uh, lithium orotate. Uh, add to that some 5-HTP um, and you have a super super uh, supplement to create optimal brain function in terms of happiness and well-being and lower stress. So 5-HTP, I read books, you can order them on Amazon, books just on 5-HTP and you'll see that it's proven to be more effective than all of these expensive antidepressants that 60% of the time or 80% of the time don't work and they all have serious side effects. I know some people live by, from some minority of people say, I, I wouldn't be here today if I didn't have my antidepressant. But they don't know how they would be if they had taken some of these natural supplements. But they didn't have that option, their doctors didn't know about it. 
They're not taught to find the natural solutions. So you take the drug and sometimes the drugs do help without a doubt, but they will always have the side effect. So you start becoming dependent on them. Now, the third ingredient here is straight melatonin. Melatonin is what your brain makes. It's a brain chemical that your brain makes when you have plenty of serotonin and you take away light source and darkness, your brain will convert serotonin into melatonin and put you to sleep. This has three milligrams of melatonin and that melatonin will put you right out. Uh, all of m many of your natural sleep substance uh, supplements will have melatonin in them. Some people go, well, melatonin doesn't work for me um, because if you depend on melatonin every day, after a while, it will stop being effective for you. You need to keep doing more and more doses. And, and that's called tolerance uh, because it actually is, this has the brain chemical and it stimulates your brain. The receptor sites become a little desensitized. So what you want to do is use uh, tranquil sleep to get your sleep, like particularly I'll use it when I'm going through time zone differences so I can get right into that time zone, wake up when the sun's up, stimulate the, the brain into the new cycle of the new place. Uh, if I'm having insomnia or people have insomnia, they're not sleeping well even in their own time zone, take this for a while and set up a healthy routine, getting the good nutrition to sustain good sleep, uh, getting a little exercise in the morning. So you got to be getting up in the morning to fall asleep at night and have a good night's sleep. Uh, also, you have to stabilize blood sugar to have a good night's sleep. I talk about PGX. I talk about uh, some other things that will help to stabilize blood sugar. PGX, if your blood sugar is stable while you're sleeping, then it doesn't crash. People who kind of wake up and can't get back to sleep at 3 o'clock in the morning or 4 o'clock in the morning, that's because your blood sugar crashed too far and cortisol levels shoot up. And now you're awake. Normally, cortisol should shoot up around a sunrise. And so that will wake you up at that time. So your blood sugar has already dropped too soon. And if you have more fiber in your diet, then you're stabilizing your blood sugar. So that, that's a key. Uh, so there's other things in a healthy lifestyle that will allow you to sleep great. But if you're not sleeping great, this will help put you in the mode where I am falling asleep. Around 10 or 11 o'clock at night is ideal because then you get your deepest sleep around 12 to 1 o'clock at night. You only get a couple cycles of really deep sleep and you want those to be at a time when there's the greatest darkness and the whole world is sleeping in your time zone at that time. Then you get your dreams later on and you wake up around sunrise or after sunrise. That's the optimal sleep cycle. And so suddenly now you're, you're um, able to exercise and use your body in the morning. You're able to eat foods, a breakfast, a lunch, a dinner and then you're not eating late at night, this will then free you to go into a deep sleep cycle. Also, some people are just waking up because they drink too much water at night. And so just to avoid drinking water at night, get a little exercise in the morning. But this will help you to make that transition very quickly as tranquil sleep. I don't recommend any of the sleep products out there to be dependent upon them. Like, okay, now I've got my solution because after a while they stop being effective. You want to do it to get into a pattern in life which supports going to bed early, getting up early and doing some exercise and getting some good nutrition. Of course, in my opinion, the best breakfast nutrition is my superfood shakes that I recommend. You can check that out. But just having that in the morning with a little exercise, people have found they sleep great. But in order to symptomatically get that result without having to take drugs, which really interfere with optimal brain function, uh, to get some tranquil sleep. It's always a good backup. It can be in anybody's closet as a back up and occasionally if you are waking up in the middle of the night and you're stressed you just go take a couple of these you're back to bed and you'll sleep many hours more you can give it to your kids as well if you're going to time zone changes or there's some difficulty and they're not sleeping well sleep is like the most important thing and you wouldn't need as much for a child so just one little capsule a nice little chewable and they're off to dreamland but remember it's just to reestablish a habit pattern of getting up early doing some exercise and having breakfast that becomes a foundation of falling asleep early in the evening for them. So here's a great solution.